Well, hello. Kent here to um, share with you some aerial video of a trip that I just took recently with my son and wife just 45 minutes up the road in Wilkesboro, North Carolina to the Wilkesboro Speedway, formerly a uh, NASCAR racetrack, and you will see some indication of the Winston Cup NASCAR signage, uh, promotional signage on the sides of buildings. But I wanted you to see this uh, video. We parked outside the racetrack, of course, not having access to the track. Everything was gated and uh, um, blockaded so that you couldn't get into the track. But um, we parked outside and flew up over and down into the track, as you will see, and just had a good time, a few minutes. This video was about 10 minutes long, and it will show different aspects of the track and, and different views. A um, couple of interesting finds along the way, some things that ex are explainable and other things that are not. But I thought you'd find it interesting to see a piece of history and I will narrate along the way with a few more facts as we go along. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. We're at the northeast corner of the track and um, we're gonna just come right in over the top of the uh, main grandstand you can see the other grandstand all the way across the other side of the track. And um, you can see how deteriorated the infield looks. Um, we're just going to take a, a glance over here to the left to look at the stands and the uh, boxes, box seats. And later we'll take a peek inside the box seats the best we can. I was trying to fly uh, very conservatively and slowly just to get a feel of, of um, the quad. It had been a while since I had flown, so I wanted to make sure that uh, I was managing things correctly. Here's the um, northwest side of the track, and you saw the Winston Cup sign, and here's the north um rim of the track, uh, the North Wilkesboro Speedway. Um, and then of course the score, uh, the, the lap um, uh, display here with the Winston Cup. And over to the side where there are just uh, regular seating, not even bleacher seating, there was a Junior Johnson grandstand. Uh, what's left of this sign here? Here's kind of panorama of the track. You can see the uh, the exit, the off off ramp there to get into the infield and and uh, really there I wanted to get down right onto the track, but I was a little leery since I didn't have access to the track. If everything anything went wrong with the helicopter, I wouldn't be able to retrieve it. So. I tried to fly as conservatively as possible in case there were any problems. So here we're just going to do a quick pass around the track. I'm guessing here we're flying at about 70 feet above the track, um, roughly even uh, with the uh, grandstand roof line. So we come around here and um, what would that be? Turn three for you that knew this track real well. And you can see uh, the deterioration of the, uh, the track itself and of the walls and landscaping has not been maintained, of course. Um, the track um, opened. The track opened in 1949. And um, it was eventually closed in 96, 1996. Now we're coming up on the uh, box seating. 
and uh, I think we're going to take a little peek inside one of the windows here uh, and you'll be able to see the chairs and the uh, the countertop there where people would sit and look out the, the windows and watch the watch the race there's a lot of really good information on this track in Wikipedia um, lots of really good information about the races and all of that Now, as we come around this uh, front stretch, I guess you would call it, um, you've got um, some buildings here with the red uh, North Wilkesboro Speedway signage, the Winston Cup Series. And um, you'll look, we're going to fly over the corner of that building. You'll see that it's just caved in uh, something badly. I'm kind of thinking that that building right there might have been the officials. Uh, I'm not sure. And again, I know a number of you that will view this video know this track very well and have visited it uh, a number of times. Yeah, here we come over and we take a look at this collapsed building. And I'm going to take a quick snapshot. You can see it's just caved in. I thought originally that it might have been on, caught on fire, but there's no evidence of any burning there. It's just been caved in from deterioration. Um, it's in pretty bad shape. Uh, there's a close-up of the Winston Cup Series uh, painting on the side of the uh, west, northwest side of the track. Now Jesse's flying and he's going to come down a little lower on the track. Of course he's flying in the wrong direction, but um, which I had to say that because I know some of you will point it out that we're actually flying in the wrong direction. But he's going to get down um, and a little lower on the track just to uh, simulate racing uh, on the track for a couple hundred feet here. And, of course, he's using um, a little screen. He's not flying. We can see the quad, barely. We can see it, but it's hard to control it that way. So he's flying by looking at the screen on the controller. And I'm looking in a set of goggles to watch this, and it's beautiful in the goggles. Just a beautiful day and a beautiful yeah, environment. You can see the condition of the HVAC on the roof. has been salvaged or stolen, however you want to say it. And then the escape, escape steers. This is really a, my favorite picture. Right there in the middle of the grandstand is a seat, a chair. After we watched this and talked about it, I thought of a, of a caption for this picture right here. Premium seating, limited availability. So we're going to fly out of the concourse and out onto the to tarmac here where the entrance is, the ticket booth on the left, probably souvenirs on the right. What's left of a banner there hanging up, can't even make it out. It's such in bad condition. Um, and if you see in the distance there, my car is actually sitting out there. Jesse and I are out there standing in front of the car. So here's a look underneath the, the uh, stands. And we'll kind of circle around here and go back out into the track. There's wires hanging everywhere. You really have to be careful how you fly in this area, especially if you back up. You might back right up into some wires. We came back outside, switched batteries, and did a little more flying around the property. Um, here's what's left of, and you can see how things have just grown up and taken over. Um, the ticket booth, or this might have been a security office. I'm not sure what this was. Um, a will call booth or something. But it's in pretty, 
pretty bad condition. Looks like it's been vandalized. Um, the Speedway actually opened up briefly in 2010 and hosted some stock car series uh, and then closed again in 2011. And then we're going to do a uh, kind of climb up and uh, get kind of a complete view. You see US 421 highway there um, that's south of the track. And you can see this track from the road. You can't get to it from that exit, but um, this will kind of give you a view of the track from a higher altitude. The short track is uh, measured 0.625 miles, which is uh, just a little over a kilometer in circumference. It had a, an uphill back stretch and a downhill front stretch. This is a great aerial shot of the entire track. I hope you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane of the North Wilkesboro Speedway, North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Thank you for watching.